so I'll just pick up. I won't even have to mess with the landing gear or anything. I just pick up on it and take off. And so it took me just a second to uh, cipher out how I was going to do this, the height and all that stuff. But I got it figured out now and got it drawn out over there. These two pieces right here are 5 eighths thick. And uh, I'm just going to tie right on to the top of these. And I'm going to come up and come up and then go across the top. The pieces that I'm going to put right here are half inch thick. I wish that will be fine because it will give me a lip on both sides right there. Uh, just a little bit and I'm going to do the full length right here which is three and five eighths and we're only going to come up uh, two and a half inches this way is all because I'm going to put a piece of three quarter thick on top that's going to sit on top of it and that's what the ball what's the hole is going to for the ball is going to go through so there's the two side pieces I've got them drawn out right there and then here is the three quarter piece it will be the top piece I'll cut it out grind it out and do that so I'm going to uh, set the torch uh, torch I got the torch out already I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and let y'all watch me cut this up um, the things about with the uh, cameras and sparks and stuff like that uh, I even had to take to, I always take my watch off too when I'm filling with this stuff because I don't want no splatter to stick back in the glass or anything but uh, I've got to design me some things for these cameras to sit behind like with a piece of leg sand in front of them or something like that to protect them where I can get them a lot closer so what I'll do is I'll you know I'll set the camera back over here somewhere and y'all can y'all can watch it but this is just an old scrap piece of a uh, half inch thick this actually came off of one of our CTR uh, D limbers years ago we cut a we had to cut a hole out in it um, for something. Uh, I can't remember what, what we had to do that for, but that's what that piece is off of, and I've had it saved out there forever. So I'll take it and uh, clean it up and then paint it. I've got some John Deere green paint, and uh, so y'all going to get to I watch. I suggest a lot of people say that, uh, you know, I ought to get a plasma cutter. There's a couple of things. Torch, torch suits me pretty well because I throw with a lot of dirty metal and stuff like that and the second thing is the plasma is very expensive too and that's some money that it's not that I don't have the money it's just I'm not wanting to spend the money on the plasma but I would take one if somebody wanted to give me one though to use or run or whatever that would be lovely
All right, I've got them cut and shined up real nicely. Got all the paint off of uh, off of this right here. It's going to work out really nice. It's going to fit with it being an eighth of an inch difference. It's going to fit just to the inside of that, which is which is perfect. So I'm about to uh, tack them on, true them up, and uh, then weld them out. I'm just going to take a uh, I'm just going to wet a rag and I'm going to wrap it around that rod right there real quick. I could take the torch and smut it with some black smut too. And that'll keep anything from sticking to it.
So this is what it looks like right here now. Now all I gotta do is put the top piece on it. Right there. This this is the top piece. I'm about to cut it out. Three quarter. That's what that is right there. So I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna cut it with the tractor sitting right there just like that. And I'm gonna set y'all right here on the uh truck. Cut a hole in the middle of it. We'll lay that right there. Well, let me carry y'all over here and show you what I got going here. This is the top piece right here. So I've got it center punched right there. And then I've got my circle cutter on the torch here. And this piece of the circle cutter goes right in there. And you just make a circle with it, make you a perfect circle. Now it's a this is a uh, inch and a quarter shank. So you're going to go half of it, which if you figure half of an inch and a quarter, that's going to be five eighths. And you can figure that pretty easy. You can, uh, you can if you can't figure fractions, just just uh, punch in a 1.250 and divide that by two, and that'll give you 625. And the, the fraction conversion of that is five eighths. If you don't know what that is, and you can just take five and divide eight into it and of course it'll give you 625 if if you don't know that but most all your main stuff anybody food with a uh, good bit will know so i'm about to cut her out right here it'll take me just a second to get it hot because when i pierce i want to pierce through it one time so it's going to take me just a second to heat the piece of metal up to what i'm after doing and uh, then we're gonna you'll see the sparks uh, go to flying there so y'all hold tight mix a little oxygen with mine before I start it.
All right, we're ready to weld it on there now. What I did is you will never be able to get a socket on that thing right there. It's going to be too tight on it, but the nut will still come off of it. But all you got to do is to get that, if you ever needed to take it off, is just grab it right here with a, uh, with a pipe wrench and spin it off is all you got to do. You can wedge something, you can wedge anything in there to, to lock it down where you can where you can spin it off. But I've got her tightened down. I've also got it locked tight it also too. And uh, I'm going to once I get this welded on here, I've got it beveled and all. I'm gonna come up here on the front of it and I'm gonna I'm gonna let me put the camera where you can see. I'm gonna come up here on the front of it and I'm gonna plate this thing right here with a plate on the front also. Alright I'm gonna tack it on there and then I'm gonna weld it. Got that finger right there too, I mean. Boy, howdy. Mm, mm, mm. It come down there. You can see where it came down? And then it got there, there, and there. as much as I can. Alright, so this is what it looks like now. I got this piece right here cut and it only comes down to right there. So I'm going to weld it out. I'm going to weld it on this side across the top and then on the other side. There. There it is with the paint on it. All painted up. We're going to go out here and uh, see how it works. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
I just I like to build stuff. I like to make stuff and put it together and and all that. Should make my move my gooseneck around a lot better. I had uh I had some bell spears that had that on top of it and worked really, really well moving my gooseneck. So that's the height that I unhooked from on my truck right there. That's where it sat. So and the arms are all the way down on it. So I'll just pick up. I won't even have to mess with the landing gear or anything. I just pick up on it and take off and go wherever I'm gonna go and then sit down and pull out from underneath it there. You know, if I'm going a long way or doing something serious, I can latch the latch, but you know, just around here, I don't have to do anything. See, I pick it up fine. Take off and go anywhere you want to go with it right there. Let me see how it feels. Ain't nothing to it, man. So I can easily hook up to it and move it around the mow. Now, I need to. Just like it.